Hello everybody, this is a demonstration video for the SD301 laser. Um, this is a 5 milliwatt green laser from what they claim. It has an adjustable focus and a rechargeable battery that comes with the laser. It is a 3.7 volt, 3000 milliamp ultra fire battery. Um, this particular model comes with an adjustable battery housing so that you can use the half size battery. Um, the charger itself also will house the half size battery. It has an adjustable clamp on it. I'm not demonstrating the battery charger in the video today, um, but it has a green LED light that says when the battery is charged. And um, if it is not green, then it needs charging and it plugs directly into the wall. Um, this particular model has a lockout key due to the intensity of power and the particular lens they chose. Um, and I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of what they claim is a 5 milliwatt green laser versus a 5 milliwatt red laser. Here's the lockout mechanism. Uh, it has a red dot for closed, green dot for open. This particular time it is open. I was just playing with it a little bit. It's super bright and this is the original focus. Uh, you can see the reflected beam on the table and the dot is actually slightly larger than the reflected dot you see. Um, but the camera is showing a lot of glare off of the pack here. Um, table and the door behind you causes more glare so I'm using the black for demonstration purposes. We're going to go ahead and use the key to lock it out. It's a little bit sticky and you'll notice it click when you've actually turned it over. Now the uh, laser is in the off position and it cannot work. Um, the key is removable in either of these two positions once you have turned it off or on. I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. Put the key out. Leave the key in it. Doesn't matter. Um, I recommend uh, not leaving your key in the device as it is not safe for children to be around. Um, we're going to go ahead and adjust the focus tip. Now, this one will cause smoking, uh, cutting of black tape, and other various items in dark color, um, but only if you adjust the tip. Now, a lot of people have done this demonstration video and complained because it doesn't smoke or burn or anything like that, but you got to realize that the tip has a magnifying focusing lens, so you have to adjust it all the way out. Now, people make this mistake often. And you'll notice that once it's all the way out, at far distances, the beam is very large. The farther out you go, the larger the beam. Okay, now I'm holding the laser behind my head at the moment. Now if I move it up close, you'll notice the beam gradually gets smaller. There is actually a focal point of the magnifying lens. When you get it to a certain point, we'll see if we can get it to smoke on this particular material. There you can see the smoke rising off of the item. With little tracers there. And it's not very, very harsh on burning. Um, it's just kind of light smoking of the item. Um, when you actually touch this particular casing here, it will still be flat and smooth and you won't even notice that it was actually burned. Um, there might be a slight discoloration if you leave the laser in one spot for a prolonged period of time. Um, but for like black electrical tape, it cuts fairly quickly actually. It doesn't just smoke, it will actually slice the tape in half. I don't have any tape at the moment, otherwise I would demonstrate this, but as you can see, there's smoke rising off of the tip here. Now the flashing of the laser is due to the smoke inhibiting the laser's path.
and now I'm going to adjust my focus again and do the side by side of the red 5 milliwatt laser. Now this is a custom laser that I made. This is also viewable in one of my other videos on my page. This was made from a dollar store LED flashlight and I changed out the LEDs with laser housings, added a capacitor, and um, this one has a battery pack with three standard AAA batteries. Um, you want to be careful when adding anything other than regular batteries when you do custom lasers like what I've done here. Um, you have to properly regulate the current, otherwise you're going to blow your diodes. Um, and the capacitors, um, these ones already have drivers attached to these lasers when I installed them, but the capacitor I had to add because every time I would turn on the laser, it tended to uh, pop the diodes um, due to the burst of initial power from fresh batteries. The capacitor stops that and prolongs the battery life. Um, this one has been regulated so that you can have a constant current without harming the diode. It needs no extra cooling other than the copper housing that comes with it. Um, these are just glued in place with a hot glue gun. Um, but you can tell this is 5 milliwatt red lasers versus 5 milliwatt green lasers. Now the green is more visible in the light spectrum than red to the human eye and it obviously has other effects. Um, in my opinion, this is not a 5 milliwatt green laser. This laser compares to 100 and 200 watt milliwatt lasers. Not watt, milliwatt lasers. Um, I've had a 200 milliwatt before that was about this intensity. Um, 300 milliwatts get further into burning, but 200 milliwatts to 100 milliwatts, you're just looking for smoking and cutting of black tape. Um, but there's your side-by-side -side comparison. Hope you enjoyed my video, and I will add a nighttime shot later um, showing the beam at night. It has a five mile range. Um, we're going to kind of go in a circle here, and you can see there's some cars and in the background shining off of some trees random signs light post now in the background here we're gonna shine all the way in the back it's about um, 1300 feet to 1500 feet there's another set of buildings in the background and you can see all the way it reaches in the very back um, perfectly visible uh, decent size diameter spot of light and I'm going to adjust the focus. This is the fine beam. I'm going to adjust it to the wide magnified beam. All right, here it is. This is the magnified expanded beam I'm using the focuser. And you can tell that the distance is not as far with that. It kind of loses focus. It turns into kind of a spotlight, actually. Um, it does reach the buildings in the background that are 1,500 feet away. But it's not as bright. It kind of illuminates everything. Um, under the expanded focus, you can um, burn things up close. And under the fine focus, not so much. Thank you for watching.